hi in this video let's discuss various terminologies which are used to describe inflammatory state right so we'll be discussing in brief about the terminologies infection bacteremia SARS systemic inflammatory response syndrome sepsis severe form of sepsis or SARS septic shock followed by MODS multiple organ dysfunction syndrome right so starting with infection so as you all know infection it's nothing but invasion of viable host tissue by microorganisms right so that's basically infection whereas bacteremia is nothing but presence of a viable bacteria in the bloodstream right viable bacteria that's important and coming to SARS, so SARS as I mentioned it stands for Systemic Inflammatory Response Syndrome. So let me just write down here, Systemic Inflammatory Response Syndrome. So it's nothing but it encompasses inflammatory state with respect to both infective as well as non-infective causes for example if there is any infective disease or non-infective cause or disease there is a kind of systemic inflammatory response to that particular cause so we have various infective as well as non-infective causes such as so infective causes include pancreatitis vasculitis etc whereas non-infective causes include trauma cardiopulmonary bypass etc so in response to these conditions whether they are infective or non-infective there will be a generalized systemic inflammatory response which is called as systemic inflammatory response syndrome and we term this condition when two or more of the following criteria are met and the criteria include the following so the first one is if the temperature of body is greater than 38 degrees centigrade or less than 36 degrees centigrade the second criteria heart rate greater than 90 beats per minute and the third criteria is if the respiratory rate is greater than 20 cycles per minute so in cases of tachycardia and tachypnea right and also partial pressure of carbon dioxide is less than 32 mmhg or less than 4.2 kilopascals so with difference in units we have different values and the fifth criteria is when the count of wbc white blood cells is either greater than 12000 per microliter MCL or less than 4000 per microliter right so when two or more of the following criteria are met then we call that condition as systemic inflammatory response syndrome right so these values are very important because we have several multiple choice questions in various previous entrances from this particular topic right when the temperature of body is either greater than 38 degrees centigrade or less than 36 degrees centigrade when the heart rate is greater than 90 beats per minute right so that is tachycardia and tachypnea when the respiratory rate is greater than 20 cycles per minute and when the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is less than 32 mmhg or less than 4.2 kilopascals and when the WBC count is greater than 12,000 per microliter or less than 4,000 per microliter right so this condition we call it as systemic inflammatory response syndrome right and moving on to the next term sepsis so sepsis it's nothing but the systemic inflammatory response syndrome to a known documented infection as i mentioned previously this inflammatory response can be either because of infective causes or non-infective causes if this sirs is because of a known documented infection then we term it as sepsis right so that's the main difference between bacteremia and sepsis and in severe form of sepsis or sirs there will be evidence of early organ dysfunction along with hypotension 
So when these conditions prevail, then it's indicative of severe sepsis or severe SIRS, right? So when there is evidence of early organ dysfunction coupled with hypotension, right? And in case of septic shock or SIRS shock, so whenever you hear the term shock, I have already described or discussed different types of shocks in one of the videos previously. So the hallmark sign of shock is hypotension. So there is actually decrease in the circulatory blood volume, right? So we have different kinds of shock, right? One such uh, type of shock is septic shock as I have mentioned before. So in case of septic shock or SIRS, there will be organ dysfunction coupled with hypotension as discussed previously and the condition will be unresponsive to fluid resuscitation right and also note that the hypotension we call it hypotension when the systolic blood pressure is less than 90 mmHg this is very important when the systolic blood pressure is less than 90 mmHg or when there is fall in blood pressure by greater than 40 mmHg from the baseline value then we consider it as hypotension right so in case of septic shock or SARS shock there will be organ dysfunction coupled with hypotension which is resistant this condition is resistant to fluid resuscitation right we cannot reverse this condition and also in hypotension as I mentioned the systolic blood pressure drop will be less than 90 mmHg or there will be 40 mmHg drop in the blood pressure from the baseline value right so that's about septic shock or SARS shock and coming to MODS MODS stands for multiple organ dysfunction function syndrome so this is seen in patients in patients suffering from SIRS right so when the condition when the underlying cause is left untreated and when there is no organ support then obviously this will lead to organ dysfunction following which there will be multiple organ failure that is MOF right so when left untreated this MODS multiple organ dysfunction syndrome leads to multiple organ failure right so these are some of the important terms pertaining to inflammatory state and of all these the most important one is SIRS right systemic inflammatory response syndrome so the criteria in SIRS are very very important you need to memorize all these values right because we have many multiple choice questions from that area and also to call that condition as hypotensive then we need to have the specific criteria like the systolic blood pressure should be less than 90 mmHg or the fall in blood pressure from the baseline value has to be greater than 40 mmHg right so these are some of the important points pertaining to various terminologies in inflammatory condition 